He's not your typical puppy, bouncing off the walls and hard to contain. Just trying to convince Buck to get up is a challenge right now. He's a patient at Island Veterinary Hospital. Buck was presented because uh, he was having an ongoing leg lameness and uh, unfortunately the, the people that were caring for him at the time um, did not bring him to a vet and so it's, really, it's nice that the SPCA will step forward as an advocate for the animal. Buck was surrendered to the SPCA cruelty officer who was investigating after a call came into their hotline. The SPCA works closely with local vets to address the needs of the animals that come into their care. They tend to be here once or twice a day minimum. So the SPCA is always busy and we like to think we're part of that team in the community to try and help them. The SPCA takes in approximately 1,300 animals a year and they spend between seventy-two and eighty thousand dollars on vet bills alone. It's hard to imagine the suffering that would be going on in our community if we didn't have an SPCA in Nanaimo. Will the pound take him in? Um, they, they probably would, yes, uh, but with 1,300 animals a year, I know that the pound itself doesn't have the resources to be able to pay for all of the surgeries that's needed. Uh, so I can't tell you what would happen to Buck. I, I would think that maybe the community would just step up and help him. Maybe somebody else would take him in and pay for it. I don't know. And that's the scary thing about the risk of not having an SPCA in the community. You just don't what's going to happen to these 1,300 animals. Having no SPCA in Nanaimo was an option considered by a committee that formed two years ago after learning the lease for the property on Labio Road would not be renewed by the city. We don't have a deadline and the city staffers have been very kind and very helpful with us kind of going through the process of what we'll need to do to build on our new land. Uh, but the fact is that the lease won't be renewed so we are now kind of in a crunch having to figure out what we're going to do. The SPCA owns property on Westwood Road and has always looked towards the goal of building a new shelter. But being a non-profit organization, funding has always been a challenge. It costs about $2,000 a day to run the operations here and a new shelter is going to cost anywhere between two and three million dollars. So of course our funding kind of priorities usually are immediate and we haven't been able to raise enough money to build a new shelter. That being said, we have raised about $800,000 from people donating to our building fund over the last eight years. The need for a new shelter is not just a result of having to relocate. The facility has many inadequacies. It's very, very cramped. Anyone who's been here will know you. It's very difficult to get down the hallway unless you go one person at a time. Uh, we make do with what we can, but you know we don't have a staff room or a volunteer room for our, 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 our human people. Uh, we don't have a, a kitchen area that uh, can be separated to prepare um, uh, meals for events or, or for staff or volunteers to prepare, prepare their lunch. It's kind of this area where the dog's food is, is is prepared and the human food is prepared, so that's no good. Every inch of space is used to its full capacity, but it's the welfare of the animals that's also a concern, in particular kennels that face each other. That's just awful because of course it's going to get them more riled up, so if you see our kennels often they have blankets hanging down the sides so the dogs don't see each other. Our cat rooms are mostly made of wood, which is awful in a shelter for biosecurity, which is what we a uh, fancy word for being able to sanitize properly. Creating a new era of animal care in Nanaimo and Central Island is the goal of the SPCA's new shelter. The plan is to raise half the cost of developing the land and building, approximately $1.3 million, before doing a public appeal. And I plan also to go to City Council and ask them if they will contribute about 5, five to 7 percent, so about $150,000 to $200,000 towards the capital building of the, the, the project, uh, which we're hopeful that the City Council will, uh, will be amenable to. Leon wants to make sure that anybody donating on a monthly basis doesn't switch their contributions to the building fund, as they really rely on those donations for the cost of operating every month and helping dogs like Buck. In Nanaimo, I'm Kelly Robinson.